this model from Facebook can break the computer vision industry in, a, in actually a good way. So let me tell you how this new model from Facebook called SAM, Segment Anything Model, is completely revolutionary in the computer vision industry that we have not seen before. This is almost like the chat GPT moment in the computer vision industry. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that I know about SAM or probably you need to know. And then we are also going to run SAM code on Google Colab and then try it out yourself how this segment anything Sam works completely amazingly ridiculously good. So let's get started with the video. What is this about? This is a computer vision model called segment anything. So working towards the first foundation model for image segmentation. Now, let me actually give you a little bit of context. Typically what happens in computer vision is that if you have to do image segmentation, you would have trained it on people. So you can, you have a model, an AI model that can do image segmentation only for people. Let's say you have another model that can do image segmentation for cars. Let's say there is another image segmentation model that can be used for satellite images. So you have got different image segmentation models for different purposes. And this is what has been happening all the while. This is almost like, you know, the natural language processing NLP world before ChatGPT. In ChatGPT, when it came, so it can be used for say, sentiment analysis, it can be used for name recognition and um, named entity recognition. It can be used for uh, tons of other NLP things that previously we had not had other models for. Like when I say ChatGPT, I don't necessarily mean the ChatGPT itself. So all the GPT world models and all the large language models that we have been talking about. The same thing is happening or going to happen in the computer vision world because now you do not need any of those individual segmentation image segmentation model rather you can use segment anything sam the segment anything model to do all these tasks not just facebook is releasing the model they actually released the model with uh, apache 2.0 permissive license but they have also released the, the data set that they used to train this and this is not a simple data set let me tell you so this data set is actually if you see the data set has got about 11 million images, 11 million images and 1.1 billion masks. This is humongous. This data set is completely open source and Facebook has completely released it. I cannot believe Facebook has done this thing. This is like a true uh, open source initiative from Facebook. I really appreciate the team for taking this effort in releasing the model in itself. You can look at the model related details here and you can also see some examples about when you have an image, what kind of things it can actually mask. Now, if you are not familiar with the computer vision industry, let me actually tell you image segmentation is quite the foundation for a lot of things that happens in computer vision. For example, let's say like you watch this video, you want to figure out who, like if there is a human in this video, it's quite an important thing because then you can actually, you know, put a face boundary, you can do a lot of other things. So this has to be done with image segmentation. Let's say not this, maybe much simpler example. If you want to build a robot, um, like in the Iron Man Jarvis, I keep on talking about Jarvis a lot. So let's say you want to build a robot with a vision. The first thing that the robot needs to do is it needs to look at something and then identify what objects are there, how many objects are there. This is quite a common thing even in the self-driving industry. So you have a car and the car has to actually identify what all things are there. And how does it identify first? It has to do the segmentation. It has to say, oh, this is the traffic sign. Oh, this is another car. This is another truck. So it has to do this image segmentation really good. Like the image segmentation has to be really good. And that is exactly what Facebook is doing. So image segmentation, like I said, is one of the foundations of computer vision. And this model, Sam, can do image segmentation for anything like Sam, segment, anything. That's what this model is. Now, instead of talking a lot more about the model, I would uh, strongly encourage you to read this blog post from Facebook. This is quite good. And you can understand like what kind of things are possible. Like for example, you've got multiple penguins and it does image segmentation for penguins. This is a kitchen image. And you can see how it actually segments all these individual things and see the details about what kind of things you can build with Sam. But I would like to take you directly to another amazing Python library, which is called uh, segment anything video from Kadir. So Kadir Nar has created an open source library, which kind of makes it easier for you to use segment anything model. So it is called Metaseg. So all you have to do is pip install Metaseg. Then you can do two things with this library. In just a few lines of Python code, you can do image segmentation. In just a few lines of Python code, you can do video segmentation. Yes, if you have a footage, if you have got enough GPU memory, you can send the video and the entire video is going to be segmented. Then you can 
use that to do let's say number of cars number of employees you can do anything with that so i'm going to show you a live demo of how this works on google collab notebook so if you are interested in the programming part this is where it gets interesting i've got a new google collab notebook uh, i'll link the no collab notebook in the youtube description so it's easier for you to get started you don't have to do everything from scratch the only thing that you need to make sure if you have a own google collab notebook is go to runtime click runtime click change runtime and then make sure that you have got gpu it re it requires gpu after you have uh, got you, after you have made sure that you have got gpu now the next thing you need to do is pip install metasig pip install metasig i'm installing it quietly so that's what this is the next step is we need an input image so i've got this input image that i'm using this input image is basically these two girls walking down the street it's it's quite a uh, simple image but what i want to see is whether it masks only the girls or it can actually mask the bag or it can also mask the road so i want to see what level of detail it can go and the level of detail could also be controlled by other parameters because the memory matters so when you see the input image we can display from ipython.display import image and i can display the image quite straightforward now we have uh, everything set up we have the model ready uh, i mean the model is not yet downloaded we have the library ready we have the input image ready now the next thing that we need to do is from metasig import sig auto mask generator import sig auto mask generator when you run this thing it is going to download a default model called wit underscore b dot pth if you want to know what that model is you can go to the facebook repository and then you can see that they would have mentioned three different models one is wit h sam wit l sam and the wit b sam so you can like if you read the blog post you'll get to know what are all these different models and when do you have to use what but for now let's use something that is easily available so it downloads the wit b mo model but i'll also tell you how you have to how you can change the model if you want to change it so at this point it's going to download the model the model is going to get downloaded wit b wit underscore b dot pth the next thing that you need to do is you need to write this python code where you are going to call seg auto mask generator dot and you can say save image because it will actually save the image output image for you what is the source image the input image that you want to give so in my case i have a w like i've used wget and then i've saved the image as image.jpg and you can see in my collab also i've got image.jpg so i'm going to say my source image is image.jpg and what is the model type that i want to use i'm using wit_l so by default it downloaded wit_b but i'm saying that i want to use wit underscore l so that gets downloaded here again separately next is points per side points per batch if you have memory issues if you reduce this the it would take a lesser memory but also it has this memory versus accuracy trade off so that's something that you need to keep in mind now after you have done all these things when you run this thing it is going to create the output dot jpeg image and once you display the output dot jpeg image you can actually see how this entire thing looks like so you can see that the girl is there and um, you know even their dresses are like properly segmented the bags are segmented the human that is walking at the end is segmented the road is segmented the sky is segmented everything that is behind them is segmented the two bags are segmented i mean this is super impressive this is called zero shot segmentation which means you are not fine tuning it on any data set and that is exactly what facebook is claiming if you go to the facebook repository you can see that they say that this has a strong very strong zero shot performance on a variety of segmentation tasks so you don't have to necessarily have this model um, you know on a different data set and it does really good and you can see that from the demo as well so before i actually show you another demo on google collab i would like to take you to the repo, uh, the demo that facebook has put together so this is a website called segment-anything.com when you go there and then see the demo you have a lot of images like starting from you know underwater image a park image an art and you know you have a lot of images so you can pick one of these images and then try to see how the segmentation works so let me pick this image this is um, this this image and once i click this you can see that it is extracting and embedding for the image this is actually running in the browser so it's uh, it's based on onnx runtime so this is another a great feature right so you can export this model as onx onnx and you can start running it on edge devices which means you can soon expect like an android application based on this and where people would 
have figured out what to do with this image segmentation. Like the potential is really, really amazing. So now all you have to do is hover on it and it can actually say, what, what is this? So it, it doesn't like necessarily say what is, what exactly this, but you can hover on it and then select a particular object. This is quite important. Again, once again, just to repeat, this is quite important for a lot of image recognition or computer vision task. It's quite important for the world where virtual reality or augmented reality is going to become a reality because all you need to do is you need to first identify the images. So you can say box and then you can, you know, uh, have draw a box and then identify the images and you can do everything. And that is going to, you know, do for everything. You, it's going to find all the objects that are there. So the, you can see all, all of the predicted masks. So you can see all the predicted masks that are available in this image. Then you can also, you know, try to do cutout and this demo is quite impressive for the in browser demo. So you can play with this model here, but if you, like I said, if you want to use it with code, you can go here and practice. I'll quickly summarize the code again. Then I'll actually run it with a different example. First, we install the Metaseg library, which is from Kadir Nar. So thanks to Kadir for making this open source library. Make sure that you go to Kadir's repository and then start the repository. Make sure you do that. The next thing is download an input image and then display the input image. Uh, just for you to know what is happening with the input image. Then from Metaseg import SIG auto mask generator. That was going to download a default model. You can keep using the model or you can try with a different model. Then you have to specify the source image. If the file name is different for what you are doing, then give a different image name and then just run this code. It's going to create an output.jpg image and that image will have the segmented part. So I'm going to go ahead and then actually try a different image. I'm going to go to my uh, DuckDuckGo and then I'm going to search for something like a, a few pets walking. Okay, it's, it's a very bad search term, but let's see. So this is, um, I think this looks good. Like I've, I've got a pet, um, I've got an image. So I'm going to take this image, come back here to my Google Collab Notebook, copy the URL. I'm going to go to my place where I downloaded the image. I'm going to run this. This means it's going to actually download and replace the file that we just created, image.jpg. And then display the image so that we know that we have the right image. So it's quite a big image, 2000 pixels. So we have got the dog and all these things. Okay. So what I wanted to see is uh, whether it can, you know, recognize the shoe, whether it can recognize the dog, the, the tree in the background and all these things, even, even when it is blurred. So I'm going to run this thing because the model has been already downloaded. It's not going to download the model again. So it's, it says the model is already available, skipping download. It is taking a little bit of time. It's, it's quite a big image. Like you can see it's 2000 pixels. It took 11 seconds. It's quite impressive, really good impressive display the final output and um, wow you can see it's it's quite good so if i zoom out you can see we have the dog i can open this in new tab in fact so we have we have the dog the tree uh, the shoes and um, the dog's belt uh, the road the line on the road the fence super impressive I definitely want you to try out this image. So I'm going to share all the required links, Google Collab Notebook in the YouTube description. We didn't do video, but I would definitely want to do video in another vi uh, video in another video, video image segmentation in another video. But until then, thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Happy prompting.